morning, folks, and welcome to another episode of Life According to Joel. Uh, I decided to uh, leave my apartment uh, today and get out of quarantine. And so I put on some PPE that I bought back in February uh, when I told everybody we'd be getting ready. I went out and I bought a face shield and gotten ready. Anyways, I decided to go to Metro Town because I really love Metro Town and I haven't been to Metro Town in like three weeks. So I figured, you know what? Great time to go to Metro Town and get all this PPE on so that I can be so safely. And the whole place is like completely empty. Like completely empty. So let's go uh, see what I can do in Metro Town. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what's open. So, so here we are at the Microsoft store. Uh, I was really proud of Microsoft. Uh, they were one of the very first companies to shut down and send their employees home uh, to protect them from the coronavirus. Uh, yeah, there we go. And they took very progressive moves. Love that company. They shut down in Redmond, Washington as well. And they really have taken care to protect their customers and their employees. Here we go, Microsoft's biggest competitor, Apple, and the Apple store was uh, also closed right around the time the Microsoft store went down. Apple shut down their business. Um, Apple always creating a product uh, that is competitive, and there's the Armani Exchange. Uh, Armani went down. Um, the whole place is a dead zone in here. I mean, I knew that a lot of the businesses had shut except for the non-essentials, of course. Um, but it is insane and surreal and like weird to be in this mall with the whole place shut down. Um, yeah, look at it. So eerie, because this is like the middle of the day. Uh, usually at this time of the day, the mall would be packed and like overflowing with people. But not now, not now it isn't it's completely dead. And if you have the odd person walking through here. But it's like Let's see anything else open out here? Let's flip it around. Go downstairs. More empty stores. Empty stores everywhere. Whole place is empty. Uh, TNT is open. What the hey? How is TNT open? What? These are the last stores I expected to be open. All right, let's go get some stuff from TNT. Get one of my favorite drinks, uh, ramyun. Uh, so ramyun is a Japanese soda, and it's really, really, really good. Uh, you should totally try it if you get out to an import store. And apparently, uh, so the other day, I realized that a lot of the uh, Asian import stores are actually still open. And here we go, uh, some pockies. Now they have cherry blossom pockies, and I'm like, I was gonna get the strawberry, but I'm like, cherry blossom poppies. I'm loving the cherry blossoms right now. I usually go to the cherry blossom festival, but there's no festival this year because you know. Uh, so I'll get some of these so and get some of these. Oh man! Uh, so these these are like amazing. They're these little uh, cookies, and they're filled with chocolate. And when I was younger, uh, my exchange students used to always bring them for me. So get some of these for sure. And they're well, as you can see, everybody's practicing social distancing. Everybody's got masks, but this place is usually like really, really, really busy. And right now it's like pretty much dead. So I just got out of TNT, and if you look over here, uh, there's a nice Chinese bakery open. Um, so let's see what I can get here. Um, and then I'll head up to the food court and have my lunch. Uh, they got the regular staples here. Uh, let's see, do they have any, uh, uh, wiener and cheese buns? Where's my pork buns? I really like my pork buns. Um, 
pizza, pineapple buns, beef buns, chicken buns, barbecue pork rolls. Hmm. Ooh, lotus seed. I really like those. A lotus seed one. Um, let's go. Where's the pork buns? Where's the pork buns? Coconut buns. Coconut buns are delish. Uh, I'll grab one of those as well. I got my sushi uh, for my lunch, and let's look at this mall. Where is a seat? I can never find a seat in this place. It's like always so packed in here, and the food court's like busy, and it's look. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a seat to eat, guys. Like, I really want to sit down and have my food, uh, but I don't know. It's just like jammed in here. So, yeah, going around. So my favorite coffee shop, Blends, is right over here. Let's go see Blends. I doubt it's open, um, but they do say that food is a essential service. So perhaps it is, I doubt it. Nope, it's definitely not. Blends is definitely not open. Uh, Japanese import store over here. It's technically a grocery store. Um, and it is not open either. Best lights would be closed and movie theater. Definitely closed because I know that from Plex announced that ages ago. Let's go down here. Uh, I really want to get ramen just to like shove it in Jason's face and be like, hey, I got ramen because we always go for ramen as ADs. Because uh, Jason loves ramen, I love ramen, everybody loves ramen. But I have a feeling, sneaking suspicion here. Yeah, ramen, koala ramen, is closed. Oh, and Sekura is closed. So, no anime for me, I guess. Um, the arcade is closed. Well, that makes sense. You definitely don't want a bunch of sick people playing on machines. Um, yeah. yeah, looks like a ghost town in here. It's completely dead. And it's in the middle of the freaking day, too. Busiest time of the day. Just completely dead. DC's biggest mall. So, folks, it looks like this whole place it's a complete dead zone. I mean, who would blame them? Uh, people aren't going out in these conditions. And the government has warned everybody to stay indoors. And that appears to be what's happening. People are being responsible. And they aren't going to the mall. And that is great news. Um, Definitely don't want people going to the mall. Uh, hey, look at that. Even McDonald's. Even McDonald's is closed. Oh, but in true Canadian tradition, in true Canadian tradition, Tim Hortons, Tim Hortons is open. I <laughs> uh, hope everybody liked my video. I'm going to go eat my food now. Hi.